Welcome back to Bizarre Repairs! Uh, what do I got today, guys? Well, I got the Apricorn Aegis 256-bit secure flash drive. This thing is 8 gigabytes. You can actually get this bigger, small, or not smaller, this is the smallest one you can get. Um, but this is a special, special flash drive. As you can see, or maybe you can't, it's really small, but this has a keypad on it. And you can set up user pins and an admin pin, so only you can get into this. So you can store your secure keys, secure files, any type of file that you want on this. And anybody can grab it, plug it in, and they won't be able to use it unless you actually have the special pin. This thing is used by professionals. I actually got the idea from Charles, Charles Hoskinson from uh, IOHK Cardano. I actually had a video on security. So I got the idea from him. Thanks. Shout out to him. So I, I bought this and just wanted to set it up, set up a pin, and um, test it out. So I'm going to use this to actually store some of my uh, cryptographic keys uh, in it, and then I can hide this away and no one, will, no one will find it. So let's go ahead and unbox it, even though I already did. But I'll show you guys what it looked like, and then we'll set it up and uh, see how it goes, and then we'll test it. All right. You guys stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed here. As you can see, it has a really good seal on it. it tells you right there, if this thing is tampered with, do not open it pretty much. So we know this thing's pretty secure. Seal's broken now. All right, E gets secure key. All right, we'll definitely have to look at the manual to see how I'm gonna configure this thing. Some small print from our lawyers. We don't need that. All right, let's see what this is here. Oh, nice. Nice little sleeve here. Very sturdy. And voila. Wow. Oh, wow. It's actually smaller than I thought. I thought this thing was going to be a lot bigger. But actually, I like it. I like that it's smaller. Yeah, this is USB 3.0, obviously. All right, so let me read the manual really quick. I'll pause this video, I'll read the manual, and then we'll, uh, we'll get this thing configured. Okay, so per the manual, it uh, looks like there's two different ways to configure this. One, using an application, but you must have this uh, logo here that says configurable. We do have that. Um, and then the manual way, uh, in the manual where you just go ahead and um, start out by putting your admin pin in first, and then locking in a user pin. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the manual way first, and then we'll get to the other way if we can do both. I'm not sure or not, but uh, we'll see as we go. Okay, so step one to start, we're going to go ahead and press the unlock and nine key simultaneously until we get a constant blue slash green blinking light. So let's make sure you guys can see that. I know they're really small. Simultaneously, let's see. There we go. Now we have a blue solid light and a green blinking one. Now we're going to go ahead and enter our admin pin. Probably blur this part out. Then we go ahead and hit the unlock button. Alright, the blue light went away and the green is still blinking and now the blue came back so we're going to go ahead and re-enter the admin password one more time and do the same thing. And then press the unlock button again. Okay, it looks like I entered it wrong, so let's just try again. Okay, so that's the first time. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Now it looked like it took it. Perfect. 
All right, let's move on to the next step. Okay, now that our admin pin is set up, I'm gonna show you how to uh, add a new user pin. So let's go ahead and press the unlock button and the zero key at the same time until the red light starts flashing. All right, now we can go ahead and enter our admin pin. Okay, now we got the solid blue light there. So, now we're gonna press and hold the unlock and one until the blue light glows and we get a green light. So unlock and one. All right, now, sorry about that. Just readjust the camera here, I bumped it. All right, now that we have the green light flashing, we can enter our new pin. followed by the unlock button. All right, and now we need to confirm it again. All right, then you press the unlock button again, and it looks like we had the green light flash for a minute, now we got a blue solid light. So that's how we add a new user pin. Now we have a new pin, uh, admin pin set. And let's see what else we can do. Okay, before I put this in my computer, I just wanna show you guys a few things. When it is in unlocked mode and it's flashing uh, green or blue, I can't remember, but it's, uh, you see the icon there, it'll be in the unlock position. If you wanna lock it, you just let it sit outside the computer for like 10 seconds or so, and it'll automatically lock itself. Or you can hit the uh, red lock button here and it will immediately lock itself. Okay, so now what we have set up is an admin pin and we have a user pin and right now you can see that it's locked. So I'm going to try a couple different things. I'm going to plug it in with this when it's locked and see what it does. And then I'm going to unlock it and put it in the computer and see what happens. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let me just switch to my computer over here so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do now with the device locked is just plug it in. I want to see if I can get anything to come up or if I get an alert tone or anything. Okay, so as you can see, you will or not see, nothing popped up here. I have nothing extra here. Uh, got no tone or no nothing, so that's good. All right, so now just stand by while I unlock this. Just a quick second here. And I'm gonna uh, use the user pin first and see what we get there. So let's just hit the unlock button and unlock this here. Okay, device is unlocked, and I'm sorry, I'm using the admin pin first, not the user pin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in now. Okay, still nothing to do, oh, there we go. All right, there it goes. So here's what we got, secure key, Apricorn in user agreement. Um, okay, it looks like it's in all the different languages. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. Okay, so that's admin mode. So let's disconnect and see what it looks like in user mode. It should be the same thing, but let's just see. All right, that's ejected. Okay, just stand by one more time and let me go ahead and unlock the user pin. And it did lock right on exit. It went ahead and locked automatically, so that's really cool. So let's go ahead and unlock. Okay, the user pin is unlocked, and we're going putting that in right there. It did take a couple seconds last time, not like a regular flash drive, so obviously there's something going on there. Cool. All right, and the user pin looks the exact same. So we have the secure key set up. So now you can throw anything you want, uh, just drag and drop it on in here, uh, eject the drive, it'll automatically lock for you guys. 
Okay, so last but not least, what I'm going to do is perform a full, complete reset of the device. Um, I actually exposed my pin to you guys, so I don't want to do that. And this is just a good thing. Just in case you lose the admin pin, you would have to do a full reset. If you lose a user pin, you will not, but uh, an admin pin, so make sure you do keep that uh, somewhere, somewhere safe. So, to do a full reset, it looks like, uh, per the manual, we need to hold the unlock, the lock, and the two key together for 10 seconds. So let me try to do that there. Let me see if I can get both of those and the two. So one, two, three, go. Two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000, eight, 1,000, nine, and 10. The red and blue should blink alternatively. It said green and red will glow solidly for several seconds, followed by a green LED and then the blue. And that's exactly what we got. So this has been fully white and we are back to square one. I will need to now uh, put in a new admin pin and then um, you can create a new user pin if you would like. So guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm really excited about this product. It looks like it's really, really, really secure. It's really well built. Um, Apricorn, you guys did a great job. I'll play with this uh, for a while, but I've never seen uh, a flash drive like this. I'm really excited about it. You guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.